Hi guys! Me and Kaylin have decided we're getting a little bit bored of being stuck in one place so we're going off for a wander. She's got a little backpack on. <laughs> How cute! <laughs> Say hi! Hi! <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. Over and figure out which way to go from there. Come on, then, Kaylin. Now looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde. A classic cliche, we're on the run This is what we waited for walking in the end. Rick was getting a taxi home anyway so uh, he ended up telling the taxi to drop us off so he was like hi are we back? Are we back? Yeah I've got rather a lot of shopping that I wasn't actually planning on getting today 
So uh, made it a bit easier not having to walk back with that and a toddler. Oh, hello, love. Yeah, well. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> you sorting out that roof? How are you doing? <clears throat> What's that growl for? <clears throat> hmm? Have you done anything today? You cheeky bugger. <laughs> Have you? We have got two thirds of the roof ground off. I've been down and I've bought some fiberglass and some resin. And it's uh, back to the grindstone for some. Yep. Or grinder. <laughs> hey, up, monkey. <sighs> I'm afraid I've got my hands full. Oh, poor Kaylin just asked her daddy for a cuddle and he couldn't... Oh, no, she's getting upset. <laughs> He's got his hands full. So he's got the fibreglass on. But it wasn't easy, was it, love? No, it wasn't. What did you have to do? Um, right. Where do I start? <laughs> well, first, this roof is a curse! <laughs> Put the fiberglass matting on the day before yesterday, which would make it, what day is it today? Sunday? So Friday. We got the fiberglass matting on, left it overnight, came back in here on Saturday morning, and it was still tacky. Nothing had happened to it. We had a little Google online, and apparently fiberglass doesn't like the coals, does it, darling? Well, so uh, it hadn't set at all. So, but I we didn't know. Roof <laughs> and I figured I'd better start reacting sharply to it to get it done. So what I did was another epoxy resin, and this time I just absolutely coated it, and I put twice the amount of hardener in so it would get it to go off quicker. The next thing that I did after that was put the polythene sheet over the top. Made yourself a little tent, made didn't a tent you? And <laughs> stuck a little fan heater underneath. And yeah, came here this morning and it's absolutely solid. There's about a quarter of an inch of resin that's painted over the top of there. <laughs> <laughs> we said we were going to do the overkill method. <laughs> because, yeah. It finally worked. But darling, are you going to tell them about your near-death experience? My near-death experience. So. And how you almost fucked up the fiberglass for a second time at the, in the how process. Many times, how many times? <laughs> anyway. Right, so yeah, yesterday the matting was nice and, and soft and I've not quite got the resin on, so in a bit of a panic I thought, right, well, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to get all that extra resin on top and I'm going to seal it for good. So I'm walking and the only way to get over to the other side to get the resin, which was over, over there, was to walk across this roof rail. And I stood up, <laughs> I actually stood up at that point there. Yeah, I crack my head. After a moment of, <gasps> uh, 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 I went straight onto the freaking thing. <laughs> so there's a big pair of side mine boot prints. Don't wobble the van. I'm going to fall off. There's a big pair of size nine boot prints just there. The bits, the, and they're actually little bits of wood chipping, but they're well and truly epoxied, preserved, preserved in time on the van roof. So, yes, I landed like that. And if I'd have actually gone the other way, I had the choice of landing on the welder, paralysed for life. That bag of logs, Paralysed for life, 
or my alternative would have been that axle stand. I think I'd have rather have taken the axle stand than to be paralysed for life. But yeah, I nearly took a nasty, nasty tumble. Due to that beam, just there, that. I just nearly whacked my head on again. I'm getting down from here. <laughs> Hi, Kirsty! Clinging for dear life. <laughs> you okay? Stop it. Stop it. I'm going to spit in your bacon sandwich. You see what I have to put up with, people? <laughs> you start. Don't it. fall. Come on, you can get down now. You're safe. I need the phone. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You'll you... have to come down and bring it to me then. I'll, I'll bring it down to you. Go on, get down. Show everybody how, how, what a brave chicken you are. I'm such a brave girl. Such a brave chicken. I bet you can't get back up. What? It actually took her about 15 minutes to crawl the way up here. <laughs> so, anyway, back to the roof, guys. Just along this edge here, I've just put a little bit of catalloy on the edge of the fiberglass. Now that has got a lid running right over the edge. Yeah. So there's no way any water is going to get trapped on top of here. It's, I'm happy. For once, I'm happy. And uh, I think you'll all agree, it looks like a much tidier job than uh, I did before because it's now completely covered. And touch wood, we won't have any more problems. Looks like we've got a monkey heading this way. Hello, monkey. Hello. And uh, say hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Yeah. Kaylin's being babysitted by big brother today, or medium brother. That's the, not very nice, <laughs> This is whole wheat on toast, everybody, when, when you see him commenting. This is Aaron. Come on, matey. Come on, then. Quick, monkey. Quick, quick. Right, so almost done on that roof, guys. The next thing is slap some of that on. Uh, so yeah, we've got Thompson's ten-year roof seal. Get some of that on it. Rubber paint. And that will do the job. Listen. We're positive, aren't we, this time? I'm not making any promises. <laughs> <laughs> because the creator has laughed at my plans so many times that's the reason why you never make plans because the creator just yeah. laughs at them yeah. yeah you know we didn't we didn't set ourselves up for all this did we we thought you know we'll just get a van do a van build and drive away <laughs> that hasn't happened so far <laughs> don't blame me Let's get a van together, darling, and travel round the world. Yeah. 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 Let's let's go van shopping with the wife that has absolutely no clue about vehicles. But you know, we'll we'll just buy a rust bucket. Yeah, but we did it on a budget. We did do it on a budget. We did it on a very, very, very low budget. Yeah. And it doesn't work. Yes, it does. But anyway, guys, we're getting there now. Slowly but surely. It's in the garage tomorrow. I mentioned that in the last video. It's getting some weld, more welding done. There's still a bit more to do with that stuff as well. Not an awful lot. But not, not loads more now. We've um, got the worst part done. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're on very, the very, very, very Homeward close bound. Now. We're on the homeward <laughs> bound and then... The it's due for its MOT on the 13th of December. Yeah, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen. We might have to keep it off the road for a bit longer. No point putting it in for an MOT when there's still work to be done. Exactly, but so, I think we should be somewhere near. Somewhere near. Right, guys. Somewhere near. Back to the uh, roof. 
He's going to do the painting, I'm going to go and make a bacon butty, and we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Bacon this butty like and <laughs> uh, Sunday lunch this evening with a big fat portion of beef. And Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings. Oh. Yorkshire puddings. Got my work to cut out, and I've got to edit this video for you guys for later as well. I'll do the Yorkshire puddings. Alright. <laughs> See you soon, guys. Bye! Kaylin, you going to say bye? Kaylin, say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye. Bye.